Hey guys, Rick Tim here with Holy Moly Outdoors. Today I'm going to go over a rod review for you guys on some new products out by Velocity International. I really feel like these are the next step in the fishing rod industry for our kokanee fishing and trout applications and I want to share with you why I really believe that to be. I have fished with all different types of kokanee rods and they are all great but I really feel that these Velocity International rods really fit my needs better than I have with anything else. So I have this year sold all my other kokanee rods and I'm only fishing Velocity because of this true. I really think you guys fishing these will find yourself believing the same thing but don't take my word for it. You got a really good deal right now on Facebook that Sam Baird really came out helping with promoting and uh, it's going to carry over till the end of March here I believe so really jump on this if you got a chance the ninja rods are on sale at the show sportsman show price and I would really encourage you guys to jump on board and take advantage of that opportunity it's a great rod from a great company of people that I really can't imagine working out with somebody else so I really think this is a great chance for you guys to get on board so let's take a look at what rods I'm talking about. We're looking at the Ninja Series rods from Velocity, and we're also going to look at the fiberglass rods as well. But starting with the Ninja Series rods, they come in a 7.6 length, and uh, these are going to be 4 to 10 on your line class rating. Now, what's really nice, I can tell you off the bat, is that these rods feel great just holding on to. You have a really nice grip section that won't get chewed up in your rod holders, fits very well in the hands, and these rods have a lot more backbone than most kokanee rods. So it's really nice to use this as maybe a combo rod. I used these actually last year on Sakai at Baker Lake and at Brewster Pool, and uh, I really had success with these and really didn't feel too outgunned even on a 10 pound sockeye. So I can tell you firsthand these guys are strong and I really believe that if you're going to be fishing for a bigger fish these were designed for those flaming gorge kokanee out of uh, that area where you're having these fish in the five maybe even six pound range and they're handling these things and designed for that with no issues at all. So I really really like what these rods bring to the table and these have become my deeper section rods when I'm fishing double stack for kokanee in lakes like Chelan where you may end up tying into a Chinook or a lake trout. And so I don't feel worried at all if I know the potential of hooking one of those on this. So this is the Velocity Ninja Rod. Very cool. And then you have here... A really cool rod that I just started picking up. This is the Velocity Elite Kokanee and Trout Series. Um, the Ninja Series is your Team Kokanee rod for the Ninja Kokanee Series. But this is your Trout and Kokanee rod. It's a glass rod, a 4 to 10 pound rating as well. And uh, this is both rods designed by uh, Jared Johnson. And as you may know, he also worked previously to design the Lamb and Glass Team Kokanee series rods that were the white and the red. And the red was a 7.6 model, a little bit more stout, which was good. Then you had the white was the 8 foot model, had a really nice parabolic action. And uh, it was a great rod all around, but I felt like the white rods, you were a little bit undergunned when you were fishing those bigger fish. Sockeye, even throwing on pinks. You felt like you were having to really work on those things. But let me tell you guys, they worked really hard to design this one because it's actually a combination of the red Team Lama Glass Kokanee Rod butt section and the tip section of the white rod. And this combination together, it fits perfect. I really like that this weekend. We were out on Chelan and uh, my dad was using this one. I had it stacked on my other rod and uh, we were catching a lot of fish and it felt great. The rod handles really well. Uh, I just really think the combination that they came up with for this rod 
of the two previous sections of rods was just genius because now you have something that will suit your needs for all aspects of the kokanee and trout fishing world and you won't feel undergunned. So I'm really excited to pick up a couple more of these and have uh, myself a real set arsenal for my boat. But I wanted to really get you guys aware of the stuff that are out there. There's a lot of different rod manufacturers and they all fish well. I'm not going to uh, put down any other names or anything like that. They all are great rods. But I've really found that not just the quality of product with the Velocity International Rods, but I feel like the people that you work with, with Jared Johnson and Rob Chambers, you really have a group of people there that care about us as a sport fishing world and are working towards making sure we have and are taking care of the needs for our fishing. And uh, I really feel like having a company with those types of management and people that are in our corner that are also fishermen themselves, that is what you want to have in a company you work with and buy things from and support all those different things for you guys that are out there I really feel like that in itself is worth its weight in gold if you have somebody that has good customer service and someone that's really going to go out of their way to make sure you're taken care of you have an answer so I would highly recommend you guys go take a look at these Velocity International Rods I'm really excited for Holy Moly Outdoors to be fishing these exclusively this year and I really can't wait to give you guys some more video footage of how we're doing using these gear. So, thanks again for watching. Rick Den with Holy Moly Outdoors signing off. Take care and fish on.